Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and stat. Today we will discuss about the two inequalities which are widely used in the probability and statistics. One is called as the Bowles inequality, second is the born for me inequalities. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, in India. You can simply follow this link for finding these various videos. So what is the objective is we will try to explain you how you can uh, describe about this Bowles inequality and the born for me inequality. So first of all, let me introduce who has defined this Bulls and the bond for me inequality. So this firstly Bulls inequality, which is uh, defined by the George Bull, which born in the 1815 and died in 1864. And this inequality is named after this British mathematician Sarvi. On the other hand, what is the bond for me inequalities? This is named after the Italian mathematicians called as the C. E. Born for me, which is born, which was born in 1892 and died in 1960. What is the theme of these two inequalities are there? Why there is a need of these inequalities? So the major contribution of these inequalities, whether it's a bull or the bond for me, it will provide you the lower and the upper bounds for the probability of their unions with respect to their individual probabilities. So look at that whenever you are talking, how you, what is the value of this? So that will provide you the lower bound as well as the upper bound in terms of probabilities of the AI survey. One thing, when, whenever we are thinking about this probability of the unions, like all of you know that what is the probability of the A1 union A2. So you can see that probability of this is A1 plus probability of A2 minus probability of their intersection. So that will come as a equality, but here we are talking about the inequality. So what first things come in your mind whenever you are talking about this inequalities are there, that is the axiom definitions. What is the exam definition is when you have the n events which are my disjoints are there then it occurs as my equality that we all knows about from the definition of the axiom approach however what will happen when when these ais are not disjoints so once it is not disjoint it means they are not equal once it is not equal it can be greater than equal to or it can be less than equal to so the which thing is applicable to these uh, these events are there. So that is the purpose of this uh, inequality. That is the relation or you can say the relation between this probability of the unions and the sum of their individual probabilities is stated by the Bull's inequality. So as I can show you that is that this is a Bull's inequality. You can see this will give you the lower bound. Why you can see that it is a less than sign. Whereas the bond for inequality will give you as a greater than or equal to, so it will give you the upper bound in between the relation between the probability of the unions and the sum of their probabilities. How you can prove this bond for me and the bonds equality? See a very short proofs in this video. So what is the bonds inequalities? It will provide you the lower bound for the probabilities of their unions. So what is the definition about that? If you have the AIs are my events, any of the events are that they are not necessary to be disjoint, then the probability of the union is nothing but less than equal to. Clearly says that whenever, whenever these AIs are my disjoint, whenever they are my disjoints, then it, this equality holds on. So how you can prove that? That's a very simple. We will try to prove by induction. So clearly sees whenever what is the value of the n is 1 when n is 1 the left hand side is probability of the ai the right hand side is nothing but probability of a1 only so this is a1 this is a1 so it holds as equality so it's trivially hold for that now if you consider about the two events a1 and a2 so then how you can write that so all of you know that you can easily expand them in terms of probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of their intersection and you know what is that this is the addition law of the probability now we all know that probabilities of this since we need the only of the AIs, we don't need this event so we all know that this value is greater than or equal to zero so what is the minus of this probability so the minus of this probability is my less than or equal to zero this value is less than of a1 plus a2 hence you can see that whenever n is 2 the result holds for that. On the other hand, uh, how you can prove by induction? You can assume that the result is true for n is equal to k. Now we can start with the n is k plus 1. I can write this value as of union is ais and of here. 
now you can see this is my event a this is my a i call as this is a this is b a union b how you can write that this is the probability for the two events this is nothing but less than or equal to probability of a probability of b apply this induction principle here this is nothing but less than or equal to here now can you say what is that this is nothing but my summation of probability ai when i varies from 1 to k plus 1 so that's a that's a required proof by the induction of this one so this means the result sort for here hence it appears for this both inequality look for the second inequality that is called as the bonforni inequality which as described described that it is proposed by ca bonforni and what is the purpose of this bonforni inequalities it will provide you the upper bounds for the probability of their unions so you can see this is the definition of this bonforni inequality again you can see they are not with the disjoints in general you can say what will happen if ais are my disjoint so once ai are my disjoint you can see ai intersection a this is my phi so this will be my zero so you can see the equality will holds now again how you can prove that again it's a very simple when whenever n is equal to 2 you can see its equal, equality holds as this so what will happen on this case when there are the two events you can see it is nothing but probability of a probability of this minus of this one you can see this one holds as equality now by using this addition rule now we can take n is equal to 3 how you can write this one we all knows that what is the probability of a union b union c we knows how you can write that this is the probability of a b plus c minus probability of a intersection b plus probability of a intersection c plus probability of b intersection c this is minus now it's a plus this is now it's a two time intersection now it's a three times intersection so i can write this value as like i can write this number as of p of a1 a2 a3 i can write this all those pair as i23 probability of this and so on again you can see i don't need of this one so again we knows that probability of this value what is that this is nothing but my greater than equal to 0 so it's a plus sign so this value is nothing but my greater than equal to of this i can write this pair as sum of this so you can see this value holds for n is equal to 3 now assume that the result hold for n is equal to k now we can apply for the n k is n is k plus 1 i can apply this definition for 2 i can write this value as greater than equal to or you can say probability of a union b are here i can write how you can write like this way what is that i can write like this union i can taken as a common and this bracket i can write like here now what is the value of this is now what is the value of this i can apply the induction principle so this value is nothing but my greater than of here again again we need, we don't need of the unions are there in the proof what is that i can apply the union here as bulls inequalities for this case you can see probability of the union is nothing but less than of this now since it is a negative sign so the minus of this will be my greater than of here so therefore we can write this quantity as of i again i can combine these two pairs as k plus 1 you can see i can combine these two pairs as of k plus 1 i can write this pair as here and by using the bulls inequality i can write of this now you can see what is that i can combine them you can combine these two pairs and you can write them in a single so what is that this is by induction or you can see the results holds for the n is equal to k plus 1 by the principle of mathematical induction result is 2 for all the so what is the conclusion behind is that you can see these two results holds or if you if you want to write this in terms of the one equation you can see this is the probability of their unions it can be written as the less than or equal to the bulls inequality greater than equal to here again if ais are my disjoint events so what is the meaning of that if ai is on my disjoints so the probability of ai intersection aj will be my zero so this part will be my zero and you can see left hand side and right hand side are same so it means the probability of ai is nothing but equality holds so you can see this 
is a special case for the hair so what is conclusion behind this lecture is the probability of the union you can easily obtain as a lower bound and upper bound of that or in general it this result is called as the born for me in equality sir so that is a more generalized is the extent i hope you can simply learn this born for me in the born equality in a very simple manner if you like this video you can share this one with your friends best of luck students happy learning thank you very much